Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on these thermal take closed loop water cooling systems, the Water 2.0 Performer and the Pro. A couple things I want to note before getting into the boxes. Let's just turn it over to the side for the specs. Both the Performer as well as the Pro have the same specs, the only difference being the size of the radiator. The Performer has a radiator with, uh, me which measures 151 millimeters in length, 120 millimeters in width, and 27 millimeters in thickness. And the Pro measures 149.9 millimeters in length, 119.9 millimeters in width, and 48.8 millimeters in thickness. Now for a couple other specs. Um, they're both compatible with Intel LGA 2011, 1366, 1155, 1156, and 775 sockets, as well as AMD FM1, AM3+, AM3, AM2+, and AM2 sockets. A couple other things I want to mention. They come with dual 120mm PWM fans with fan speeds of 1200 to 2000 RPM, noise level 27.36 decibel, and max airflow of 81.32 CFM. Here are the accessories included in the boxes for the Performer as well as the Pro. Since they're exactly the same, I'm only going to go over one set. They both come with product warranty as well as your installation guide. And here are your dual 120 millimeter PWM fans. In this area, we have your Intel backplate with retention ring. AMD backplate with retention ring, your retention clip, Y cable, and in this bag we have your fan screws and washers. This is a bag of just screws for your LJ2011 setup, and a screws for your the rest of your Intel um, socket setup as well as your AMD. And finally, a bag with adhesive strips, uh, plastic components, and grommets. Here's a rundown of the installation process. We'll start off with the Intel 2011 socket. You'll need the retention ring. And first, we'll need to take this clip, insert it into the four holes, just like this. Next, we'll be taking this clip here and snapping it onto the other clip. So give me a moment, just like this. Then you'll need to take the screw with the thicker thread and screw it in, not all the way. Then you'll need to attach this onto your water block with this on the other end and lock it into place. Um, then you'll proceed to tighten the screws and uh, when you're mounting this onto your motherboard. With the rest of the Intel socket set up, as well as the AMD, um, all you'll need to do is um, take the back plate, put these adhesive strips on, and take these grommets, push it through the correct holes depending on which socket you're using, just like this and mount it onto the back of your motherboard. For the retention ring, it's the same type of setup, except you'll be using these screws with the thinner thread. Uh, same thing with AMD setup, use the adhesive strips and the grommets, as well as this screw. Here are the two radiators sitting side by side. They have the same specs, except the Pro is 48.8 millimeters in thickness, and the Performer is 27 millimeters in thickness. I'm only gonna talk about one, since they're pretty much the same, so let me just move this aside. The advantage of the radiator being thicker is that you get more surface area cooling with its uh, aluminum fins, and they both come with 12.8 inches of rubber tubing. And here is the pump itself. Let me just remove the cover. It comes with a copper contact plate and pre-applied thermal paste. And one last thing is that here is its three-pin connector that you plug onto your motherboard. That wraps up our overview on these thermal take closed loop water cooling systems, the Water 2.0 Performer and Pro. I'm Joanne with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our Newegg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching Newegg TV, and we'll see you next time.